Welcome to the demonstration of a shortcut infection on Windows 7. This is Chester Wisniewski. First, I'm going to create a new user that has limited privilege, a standard user in Windows 7. And uh, when I create this user, I'm going to call him Bob. We'll see Bob, and then create that account. And uh, now I'm going to check and make sure my UAC settings are set to the defaults. So I'm going to open up the UAC settings. I see that they're at the default in Windows 7. So I'm going to click OK and proceed with logging in as the user Bob. So here we go, there's my start menu. I can see I'm logged in as Bob. Now to test the shortcut virus against Sophos Antivirus. I'm sticking my USB key into my machine. I'm going to open it up and we should see, there we go, the shortcuts and a couple pieces of malware sitting on the key that are associated with this, the Stuxnet Trojan uh, and Rootkit. And we'll see Sav pop up in a second with W32 Stuxnet B. So let's open up the quarantine inside of SAV, take a look, make sure we've detected the right thing. We'll see that the infection is on the E drive on the USB key and that the detection is in fact Stuxnet B. Let's take a look now at the infection without Sophos Antivirus installed. Uh, we stick in the USB key again, autoplay prompts us, we open it up, and I've slowed this down to about 10% speed so you can catch it in the video and see what's happening here. So I'm opening up the drive, here comes the Explorer window, we see the shortcuts with the malware, and uh, in a fraction of a second you'll see everything vanish off of this drive as the rootkit is instantiated, and it hides everything on this USB stick. Thank you for watching and visit us on youtube.com slash Sophos Labs.